Um, what's good, YouTube? You have to excuse me, man, because I'm sounding a little bit tired because this is my third time doing this for YouTube besides it wants to fucking cut off. Um, what can I say? I've been gone for a minute. Or at least you never seen you never see my face. In my actual direct face. Um what goes on with that is I've been busy with my school and everything else like that. So um you know and you know spring semester starts back up Monday of uh, whenever this video appears. So uh, and I've also tried to do video updates but YouTube's uh not it's, it's failing to convert my WMV format even though it clearly states it takes that type of format media makers format media movie makers format um I don't know what's wrong with that I'm probably gonna have to do it a different way from now on it is what it is on that um but nonetheless what I plan to do and why I'm uh, here today is to officially announce that I will be making another YouTube account so please catch on to it um for album reviews this is strictly for album reviews or, or blogging about music it's music blogging it, like my other channels are already kind of about music but I go around and do everything on it um this one will be strictly for the point that I will have uh music reviews and this is a digital project so I decided to kick it off a digital way by reviewing a digital debut album. The album is called Charles it's called well Charles Hamilton's The Pink Lava Lamp. And the Pink Lava Lamp is a guide to how he lived his life. It's the final part of the Hamilton process with a series of mixtapes. And this stands up pretty well considering that those mixtapes were dropped in 2008. The album was dropped in December 2008, but the, the recording happened within 2006, 2007, and it's an original raw recording. Um, what to expect from this album? Craziness, to say the least. But um, what's going on here is, is that... I don't know. It's, it's just got to be a different way. I had to get down of how I wanted to review the album. How I was going to review the album. Because I've been wanting to do this ever since um, G July, August. And you can see it's clearly January now. And speaking of which, happy 2011. How are you going to celebrate it? You have goals. And so, by all means, just try to stay to them. Um, but, you know, this is definitely an interesting uh, concept. I had to think about how I was going to review the albums and not just try to get it off the back. Like, oh, it's perfect, or oh, it's bad, or oh, it's something else. I deeply had to think down and sit track by track doing this thing. I did it in the process by listening to the album at first, then writing it. If I didn't understand something, I would go back and then listen to the words again. If I don't have a clear understanding, now don't. And one more thing about this this is a biased review just like every other thing it's a biased review so there may be some things you don't agree some things you do this is how I'll be doing it I agree with certain things you don't um you can kind of tell me why but don't come off as a jackass so why because you know as they say it's not how it's said you know it is it's not what it said, it's probably the content, mostly it's the content of how you say it. And, you know, if you like it, then that's fine. I don't care, you know. But, also at the same time, you know, you have your opinions and, you know, you're, you're free to blog about kind of why you like it, but don't be a, a total jackass about it. That's all I'm asking. Don't be an ass. Um about why I'm right, why you're right, and I'm wrong, and stuff like that. Break it down to an analytical fact, but, you know, don't try to disprove a theory about why I like something and why, you know, I should, or why, you know, I don't. That's all I'm asking, and, you know, this is uh, pretty much the digital debut process of this album. Yes, I review featured Charles Hammond Banks. No, I will probably not review 
what he considers mixtapes or projects, mixed albums, mixed projects, whatever. I will view what he classifies as an official album to a certain degree. Like he has plenty. Like there is one. There is this perfect life. There's Taffy Two. There is um, normality. Those are I will count. Those I will review because he classifies them as such. Therefore, I will review them simple as that I will review other people my genre is not limited to hip hop and or rap I will um, talk about the good the bad the ugly um, of everything that's how I will do so you know that's just how it is um, my opinion on the good um Damien Mar Damien Marley and Nas, uh, distant relatives. You know, there's a lot of stuff that's surprisingly that's surprising about 2010. In a lot of ways, the bad. Drake's thank me later. Now I have a couple of friends that you know like it. I have plenty of friends that saw it as a disappointment compared to Drake and where Drake is. Um. Right now, and the ugly is definitely just took a rebirth, little way. Um, I commend you for trying something new, but it, it sometimes you just gotta stay out of your lane, especially if you just. <sighs> um, you know, I got my boy B. Wadden pinning down my stuff right now. I've already taken time to read it, and I've done basically 15 pages out of. You know, not 15 pages, but 15 tracks. It equals up to six pages alone. And I'm going to be surprised if I have really more than two pages worth of work. Because if I gave it to my English major friend, he probably break the shit out of me. He probably break it. Um, but to also get a proper review, you also have to listen to the album yourself. And uh, how I feel on it is just how I feel. Uh, right now he's doing it. Um, I'm definitely gonna put in the link in the description box for my boy B. Widen. Uh, it should be Zeo the Dragon Hero. Um, you know he does website reviews. So I'm also promoting him. Shout out to him. Uh, he'll be doing my website, which will come out later this year. Um, hopefully within by sometime within the later uh, part of the winter or spring. Uh, he's gonna. Uh, yeah, okay. You uh, said February. So, you know, you should check out uh, my website if you like it. You should also check out his other websites that he's doing. Um, he probably, more than likely, I bet he has his Facebook already connected to his YouTube and or Twitter account. So, definitely check it out. He's up and coming, he's, but he's doing his damn thing. Just like me, I'm up and coming and I'm producing and rapping. Um, don't ask me to bust a freestyle because... <laughs> not gonna do it um just for people to clown me already like that but um i've been definitely working on my production craft um my art and everything else this is definitely a good time i'll be making it on a new youtube account and hopefully and those reviews will be coming out i will follow the guidelines for it because right now i have a strike against me for the clips feel like feel like me instead of just asking me to take it down they just struck me and then just wiped it to my thing so now I'm not low I doubt I'll be able to upload past 15 minutes ever on the Saturn Blade YouTube account I will still upload music projects do not end that my um, flash drop my terabyte is currently broken so there's nothing I can do about it to get those other Danny videos back until I get that fixed because I refuse to make it again but I will drop Danny stuff, Kalisa stuff, everything else that I think is good music or great music, you know, anyway. But uh, there's the good, there's the bad, there's the ugly. Look out for the Pink Lava Lamp review coming soon, very soon. Hopefully by whenever this is uploaded on uh, Monday, sometimes before then, because school gets back in on the 10th. There you go. Um, you know, stay up. This is Saturn Way, aka Flight, the reviewer, or whatever you want to call it. I'll leave the uh, new YouTube 
in the description box when I do choose to make it. I definitely will uh, be writing stuff in the description box later on when this video gets uploaded. Um, Y'all take care, be safe, you know, and uh, have a great day. Peace.